When you think of basic necessities, shelter and food are at the top of that list, and many nonprofits in Rhode Island share the goal of helping get people off the streets. Today, Senator Jack Reed announced major funding supporting that effort. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo explains how local nonprofits can apply for the money. Well, Shannon, the federal funding adds up to $2 million, and Senator Reed says part of the goal is to address hardships caused by the pandemic. $2 million in emergency food and shelter program funding will soon be heading to nonprofits in Rhode Island. Eventually, the money can be used to help Rhode Islanders get groceries, shelter, or even pay bills. Now, this $2 million in federal EFSP funding will deliver much needed reinforcements. Senator Jack Reed joined leaders at United Way Rhode Island Friday to make the announcement. And these funds are designed to supplement the ongoing efforts of outstanding organizations like Amos House and Crossroads Rhode Island, the Community Care Alliance, and so many more. The federal funding is through the National Emergency Food and Shelter Program, which is run by FEMA. First, local organizations are being asked to apply for the funding. Reed says anyone interested should contact James Johns, who is in charge of the local board that will help distribute the funds. Johns also leads Catholic charities with the Diocese of Providence. These resources will give a chance for people uh, to eat and to survive what is today a very cold winter. Reed says $1.25 million will stay in Providence County and organizations based there. The remaining $750,000 will be split up between charitable organizations within other parts of the state. First, the money goes to nonprofits, who will then help Rhode Islanders. It'll be uh, distributed to nonprofits who apply to the Emergency Food and Shelter Program and are uh, approved for receiving funds to assist Rhode Islanders and those decisions are made by the Emergency Food and Shelter Board. So where is this money coming from? Senator Reed says the funding is made possible by the Appropriations Act of 2021 and the American Rescue Plan. In the Tech Center, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.